Welcome, world. <laughs> Welcome to the third attempt at the uh, Zero Effort podcast. I'm Sean. This is my buddy Benjamin. And uh, we're just going to bullshit a little bit about what we're currently playing and yes. things we want to play or whatever, wherever the topic just takes us. There you go. Well, so we're recording this on my phone, so forgive the quality, and if I get a weird text from my wife, please ignore it. <laughs> um, oh. Right now, we're just watching some of me playing uh, Cyclops. Yeah, that's a good game. One of my favorite games. You ever play it? No, I've heard good things about it, though. No? No, but... So, they re-released it for the PlayStation the 4. Yeah. a few months ago so I already bought this game multiple times you're gonna buy it again I bought it again but to my surprise this version actually has trophies oh nice so it actually gives me like an incentive yeah to play through it oh cool but uh the gameplay doesn't hold up <laughs> doesn't hasn't aged very well but the world it, itself and the art style I just totally am into and it holds a special place in my heart and I can't wait for the second one to come out I was gonna say wasn't this supposed to be a sequel yeah, they're working on it right now. Oh, are they? So, can't wait. Well, speaking of sequels, I know you're excited for that Toe Jam and Earl. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Did you watch the video? Uh, the video yeah, I never it? replied. My bad. I never replied, but I saw it. Yeah, it was pretty good. So, but They what? partnered with Adult Swim Games, and now they're going to come out on console also. Oh, that's a, oh okay. Yeah. I, thought, I thought that was originally what it was. They had partnered with them. No, like, so, what was it? Uh, beginning of the year, I uh -huh. kick-started this game. Yeah, okay with and so <laughs> the only way that they were going to let you play it is on PC so I kickstarted a game that I couldn't play Never because play. I don't have a PC anyway nice so I had hope that's that real love for the game yeah <laughs> I just wanted them to make it with yeah. the hope that eventually they'll bring it to console okay so now this just confirms that it's definitely coming to hopefully both Xbox and PlayStation as I only have a PS4 right now so what, it's only coming to Xbox right now? Uh, they didn't say. They oh. didn't say which console, they just said consoles. Oh. So hopefully that means... Both. Both. Right. Well, the, the ones that matter anyway. Right, I don't nobody cares about Nintendo. No, so. nobody cares about Nintendo. Um, well, when are they supposed to launch? They're saying early next year now? Uh. I think it was originally supposed to be November of this year. Okay. So, can't but, wait. Did you like what you saw? Because I did. No, it looked, looked great, look. Basically, like, I can say, like, a reimagining of the original. Yeah, the good Better one. graphics, yeah. The first one. I don't know about the second one. Never played the second one. No, it's... Uh, it's Never cared to. It's not that great. No, it didn't look that great to begin with. But, yeah, this one basically looks like the uh, original game. Just with updated graphics and hopefully, like, you know, a couple of new mechanical schemes. Well, they have more characters. Uh, okay. I think a leveling up system instead of just, like, getting more lives and bigger a bigger health bar. Right. Now there's actually, like... Is it going to be online co-op? Uh, oh, God, I hope so. Oh, yeah. That would be great. You know what I'm really looking forward to? I don't know why it's taking so long, but I'm really looking forward to when people on PlayStation can play with people on Xbox if we have the same game. I so, don't understand why they're limited. Why there's limitations on that. Apparently, Microsoft is totally down, but PlayStation, well, Sony doesn't want to do it. Really? Yeah. Even though they threw it out there. Right. It was like, X Microsoft called the bluff and like well shit <laughs> yeah cause wasn't it like with Rocket League they were talking about doing that yeah yeah the, all the developers of Rocket League have, were talking about doing it okay but like um, I forgot who said it but somebody said that uh, they'd be totally down for cross console play and then Microsoft said okay let's we're, let's do it and let's work it out and Sony was like ah yeah actually, that'd be great yeah that's terrible cause then I, we could both play Toe Jam or Earl cause I only have Xbox One Sean only has a PS4, so we can't play it together. So this cross-platform proliferation would be great. I don't yeah, know. but they still have love for the PC, so yeah. apparently you can still cross console with a PC or whatever cross-platform with a PC and PlayStation. Well, neither same thing with uh, Xbox. Well, neither one of us has that, so nope. Uh, oh well. Well, hopefully something gets worked out. I don't know. We'll see what the future may hold. But I saw the other day that you were playing your wrestling game. Yeah, buddy. Which one is it? Uh, what is it? WWE 2K16? Pretty good. Came out, uh, 
of the games for gold on August. So like the last game for August. So I was playing that. It's pretty fun. Not really like a wrestling guy Not anymore anyway. So I was playing that. Pretty fun. Created character. I was whooping some ass, you know, laying some mag down on some jabronis. It's pretty fun. Pretty fun. Did you create a character? Because I didn't recognize. <laughs> yeah, that was my guy. That was my guy. I created like two characters so I could have a tag team. So I got my tag team guys and then uh, play with my friends. So, <coughs> excuse me. Hopefully, uh, more people I know will get the game so we can have a, a six man match and just go to town. It's pretty fun though. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty fun. I wouldn't buy it because, like I said, I'm not that big into wrestling. Personally, but it's a free game. But it's a free game, yeah. Why not? It's fun. So I was like, hell yeah. So, created character. It's pretty brolic. I like him. So yeah, he's the, the biggest muscular guy <laughs> I've ever seen in wrestling. I was, uh, I was hoping you could say you could say that. He's a. Uh, I don't want to say he's bigger. Like if, if like if you see like the uh, what is it the screenshot for Triple H, he looks. Colossal, it's like not even close, but uh, yeah, my guy's pretty stacked though, so you know, he got a nice move set. So, if you go to my channel, Mr. Terrific TV, uh, MRT, the number three, R R I F I C TV, you can like see a couple of um, other videos that I uploaded with the wrestling. Um, but yeah, so playing with my friends and was playing the WWE, it was fun, like I said. So, that's that's it's between that and basically Overwatch. Overwatch is my new like passion. I never thought I would say I like I like a game more than Halo. At least not for multiplayer, but uh at this point in time, yeah. This game is easily trying with Halo. So I mean for for the now. What do you like about it? Uh the characters is number one. Because so many different characters. And I like the fact that, you know, you they all occupy different roles. You have uh, offense, you have defense, you have support, uh, then you have healing. I think that's the, the four classes. Isn't support healing or is that? Is it? Maybe. Yeah, I know there's offense, I know there's defense. Oh, no, excuse me. Offense, defense, tanks. Tanks. And then support. You're right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So those are the four classes. And I play with at least one of each class. I'm good. I'm good with at least one of each class. You're a Reinhardt guy, right? Well, Reinhardt's my main guy. Uh, Reinhardt's my main guy. I've, I've been playing with Reaper a lot lately. Uh, but like I said, I'm good with at least one of each class. So, like on offense, I play with Reaper. That's my offensive character. Defense, I play with Torbjorn. I'm good with like every tank. Because I'm not. Tanks aren't hard. Except for Zarya. I hate Zarya. Not hate, but she's very, like, this. So, like, this so the, that's the Brawlic chick, right? Yeah, that's the Russian, the Russian uh, weightlifter. Uh, but she's like, there's like nuances to her that you really gotta understand to flourish with that character. So the other one's like pretty straight, straightforward. But like her, she if she, if you can use her, she's great. If you know how to use her well, she's great to to have in your in your stable. But otherwise, she's not for me. Like I said, she's just too difficult for me to use. Uh, and then like on the healing side, I just basically on support, it's Symmetra and uh, Mercy. So I'm waiting for season two. Once season two of Competitive comes out, that'll probably be my life. Have you tried um, Ana at all? She's a sniper, right? Yeah, I Is mean, uh, she's like Widowmaker. They're like the, almost the same thing in terms of difficulty. Like they're not easy. Like I, oh, snipers and I, I can't snipe in any kind of video game. No, I, like that's the thing. Like in Halo, I'm I'm pretty good at sniping. Like I'm not the best, but I'm you know I'm pretty good. But there's the aim assist in Halo, and this is no aim assist. So you're basically just on you're your own. On console, huh? There's no aim assist. Uh, I mean, that's what Watson told me. I don't know. Uh, he's 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 the Overwatch expert, so <laughs> I don't know. But I, I could see it because, like I said, I'm good with sniping on Halo, but in this is no, it's not the same thing. So like I never use Ana for that reason. Like she has to, you have to be good, a good shot to use her. So if you're not a good shot, then. No, she's not the character to play us. I don't play Overwatch, obviously. Um, that's why I have a lot of questions for you. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> well, you need to get the game, man. You need to get on this Overwatch train. It's too late for me now, man. Never. Now everybody's too good. Now I'll be like jumping into a Call of Duty six months after it came out. Mm -hmm. And you just.
just everybody knows all the choke points and how to snipe and all that kind of crap. Well, I mean, just, you if know. you want to get your dick kicked in the dirt over and over again, just so you can learn how to play this game, yeah, sure. That's not necessarily true. You know, you can. That competitive is by far. It's, it's crazy. Like if you play competitive and you play quick play, two different, two different, like two different alien planets. So like, oh, not even close. The intensity and like the competitiveness of competitive is bananas. Do you so. play a lot of that or no? Oh, that, when it's out, that's all I play. Like I don't play quick play. Oh no, not anymore. No, I do now because the, there's a interims between the seasons. There's intermissions between oh. the seasons. So okay. season one is over. That's done and gone. And now there's only quick play. But once quick play, I mean, once competitive comes back for season two, that's oh. what I'm going to play. Because, you know, I'm, I'm decent enough. So. I had no idea that um, competitive was only a certain amount of months. Yeah, it was like, well, the the first season was like a test run. So I did a little test run for season one. It was like approximately three months. And then after that, they uh, did an intermission for three weeks. And then season two kicks off, I want to say, either September 9th or the 6th. One of those. I don't remember which day it is. But, yeah, they kick off then. And uh, I'm assuming it's going to be another three months. But people have been complaining. I'm one of the people. Intermission is way too long. Like, it should be at least a week, but no more, no less. Intermission between the seasons. Just take a break real quick. Like I said, it's, it's that intense. If, if you play Overwatch... If you get a chance to play Overwatch and then you start playing the competitive, it's like, oh god, so intense. It's like, it's like a real life fight almost. It's so intense. So, so you need that, you need that break, a little buffer in between. But it shouldn't be any more than a week, but no less than a week. That week is fine. And then just jump right back into it. And it's fun. Oh, it's so much fun. Like I said, the characters are great. The character design is great. And uh. The main reason why I love Reinhardt is because of his character design. Like, I like the big armor guy. He looks cool. Um, but then, like I said, the different roles that each character fulfills mm -hmm. in the gameplay. You know? So I do like that. Like, you don't necessarily need... Uh, you can you can go... You won't necessarily win, but you can go on a team with everybody on offense, basically. Or everybody on defense. Or everybody with tanks. I do like that. But I also like how... If you really, really want to win, you need at least one of each. At least one of each. So you're gonna need one offense guy. You're gonna need one tank guy. You're gonna need one support. You can go defense. You know, a lot of people aren't playing the, um, the defensive characters because they, they nerf Torb Bjorn, which is terrible. They nerf his turret way too much. Like I can understand a nerf, but they nerfed him 30%, which is way too much. 10% I could have understood, but. Half the reason why they nerfed him was because, like, you would have whole teams of Torbjorns. Dominating. Yeah. But now that you've limited it to one Torbjorn or one character per team, the nerf was unnecessary, or at least the the uh, level of the nerf was unnecessary. Because he is his turret. His turret is his whole... So people can't play the same character anymore? Not competitive. In quick play, you could have a whole team of whatever you want. Okay, so like in competitive, you can't have like a whole team of Reinhardt. No, it's only one character each. So in the beginning, it was like the first, I don't know, first month, maybe two months, whatever it was. You, like you could play whole team or whatever. But then people were, you know, complaining to Blizzard, I assume, and you know, it got the feedback got back to them. So they were like, all right, well, you know, understandable. So we'll work on it. I said I wasn't opposed to like two characters. Make, you know, cap it at two. Like, if you want to have two Reinhardts and two Torbjorns and two Bastions, then that's fine. But that's it. That have, sounds fair. Yeah, you can't have more than two. But they limited it to one. So, like I said, I, I don't understand why you limit it to one character and then you still nerf him. But anyway, the point being is that, like, Hanzo they've nerfed and then they've, they've nerfed the Widowmaker. It's like a lot, of, a lot of defensive characters they've nerfed. So a lot of people don't play them in competitive. Mm. Uh, as you know, they did before. So, well, Blizzard's pretty good at figuring that kind of stuff out. I mean, yeah, for the most part, you know, they've been on top of it. Like, you know, if if an issue is brought to them and they feel that it's warranted, you know, they'll address the issue in a timely manner and in a manner that they see fit. So, like I said, the whole competitive thing with the characters that was pretty early on, 
and they addressed it, and then, you know, they moved on. They addressed it, took care of it, and then they went on to the next problem. Like, they, they, they routinely nerf and buff different characters, and they've done it to multiple characters multiple times. Like, McCree has gone up and down. Uh, Zenyatta has gone up and down. So, you know, you have, like, different, different adjustments are made to the game at, you know, pretty regular intervals, so... But like I said, that's my my new addiction, my latest addiction. But you know, we talked before about Fallout Four and getting back into it. So uh, I had wanted to get back into it for a while now, cause uh, I want to say January, February, my Xbox shorted out, so the power brick, you know, it shorted out on me. So my Xbox wasn't working, so I had to get it serviced, and it was gone for like a month. So, what did you do for that month, man? <laughs> uh, that was terrible. I asked my girlfriend. That was terrible. I had to play my PS3. It was oh, awful. no. It's awful. <laughs> Downgrading. Yeah, I was downgrading. So I had to go back at the games I didn't uh, beat on PlayStation 3. What would you play? Do you remember? Uh, it was mostly... What was it? It was... Space Marine was most of it. That was all right. Warhammer, yeah. The Warhammer 40k game. I wish they would make more... Uh, Warhammer games. No one consoles. was enough for me. <laughs> nah, I, I like I love Warhammer, like the lore and everything. I love the universe. So, and Space Marine was a good game. Like it wasn't, you know, it's not a. I won't say a classic, but it was a good game. You know, you it, it did its job as a shooter slash melee game. It was interesting enough for me to finish it. Usually. Yeah, yeah. It was a, a free plus game. Oh, was it? Like a couple of years ago, maybe. Oh, nice! I didn't even know that. And uh, that's. The only reason why I played it. Oh. Uh, but uh, if I... I wouldn't have bought it. Yeah. I'm glad they made it free. I'm glad I played it. And uh, if it was... Since it was free... Yeah. If I didn't like it, I would have just turned it off. Right. You know? If I spent money, I'm finishing the game. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, that's what I said. Like, if I'm going to spend money, then I got to finish it. Yeah, exactly. So... It doesn't make sense for me to spend all the money and then not finish the game. I mean, that's the whole reason why I have Gamefly, because I'm very finicky, so... I, I always say, like, on the games I buy now are shooters. Like, if it's not a shooter, like a Halo, or like a Mass Effect, or Gears of War, or something like that, then I'm not going to buy it. So, I mean, that's pretty much held true. Very few shooters that... I, <clears throat> excuse me. Very few games that aren't shooters that I, that I don't buy. Um, you know, like... I said Mass Effect is one of them. I don't know if I would qualify Mass Effect as a shooter. Well, it's a shooter RPG. or It's like a cover-based shooter-ish. Yeah. yeah, it's basically Gears of War. The mechanics play like Gears of War. The yeah. cover system and the shooting and everything. You do a lot of shooting is the point. So if, you do, if you're going to do a lot of shooting, that's a game for me. It's maybe just because I don't really... I don't care about the shooting in that game. You're more for the story. Yeah, it was more about the universe and uh, the characters in it. No, I, I can see that. I mean, the, the the story is great in Mass Effect. The shooting was just something to do in between uh, <laughs> story plots. No, but what I mean is, like, I'm not going to play. I'm trying to think of a game that I wouldn't necessarily buy. Like, Fallout was another game. It's a shooter, basically. Basically. So I bought that, and against my better judgment. But I love the game. Um, but it's one of those games that's so all-encompassing, so much you can do that was a little... Had a little bit of trepidation buying it, but I'm glad I'm glad I did because it is it is a great game. Um, I'm trying to th- like I wouldn't buy Madden like Madden per se. I'm not gonna buy Madden. I love football, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy Madden. Do you play sports games at all that aren't that you you know that you pay for? Not really. Like I'll game fly those games, but I never buy them. Like I I've, I've game fly NBA 2K. I don't game fly Madden because I'm not like I love football, but I was always a 2K guy. Okay. Like when they had NFL 2K, yeah. that game was great. Uh, I always thought it was better than Madden. That's my personal opinion. That's and, a lot of people's opinions. Yeah, and that's basically why <laughs> EA was like, all right, we can't have this. These guys, they, they're our competition now. They're going to destroy us. So that's why they bought out the license from the NFL. Yeah. Which is a little shady to me, but hey, it is what it is. That must have been like over 10 years ago now. Something like that, because the last one I played was like in high school, so I was like 04 maybe. Maybe 50, closer to 15 years, maybe. Maybe closer to 15 years. Maybe? Actually, I was in high school, so I, I graduated in 05, so it had to be like 03, 04, so maybe, I guess, like in between 10 mm. and 15. 
Somewhere in that range. Somewhere in there. It yeah, does, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, so I haven't played. I haven't really like. I'll play um, Madden, but I won't buy it. I don't got my like. If I if I go to a friend's house and Madden, they're playing Madden, then I'll play it then. But I don't game fly it, or I don't go out of my way to uh, to buy it or play it otherwise. I'm not like I said. I'd rather play 2K. So, but but, but moral of the story is like those kind of games and like a racing game. I'm not really gonna buy. I'm not really, like a racing game fan. So I don't buy those kind of games. But if it's a shooter, more than likely I'll buy it because there's there's a lot of replayability. Most most shooters are online now. They have online competitive, so you can play competitively. So you can do a lot of things, a lot of replayability in those games. And uh, I mean that's what I find fun. So I don't know. Like I wouldn't buy too many other games that aren't shooters. I do enjoy. Um, what what are they called like. Uh, Metroid Mania kind of games. Oh, me- yeah. Those side scrolling. Metroidvania. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Vania. Yeah, because it's, it's a combination of Metroid and Castlevania. Yeah, that's right. So that's right. Metroidvania, uh, where you're just going through the game, unlocking, getting getting uh, better upgrades, so you can go to d- different parts of the map. I like platformers. Obviously, I love Psychonauts. Yeah, I mean, when I was younger, yeah, but now as I've gotten older. And my attention span is trickled down. <laughs> I can't hold my attention for that long. That's why I like shooters, because you can go in, play for like a short interval, and then be done, and then move on to something else. So. Do you care about um, uh, Titanfall 2 at all? Uh, yeah, no, I'm going to get Titanfall. Well, not initially. I'll get Titanfall eventually, but I do care about it. I'm not going to get it initially. Not at first? No, not at first. I. I am actually excited for Infinite Warfare, so I'm definitely going to get that. Hopefully it turns out to be good. It kind of looks like Mass Effect, I want to say, only because like you can explore like different planets. It's not on the scale of Mass Effect. Like You can't explore like the entire galaxy, the entire Milky Way, but you can explore, like not explore, but you can go to different planets in our solar system. So I like that, and it's okay. sci-fi. A tiny little section on a planet in the solar system. Yeah, I mean, it's basically the same thing as Mass Effect, because on Mass Effect, you can't explore the entire planet. No. So. I don't know, man. I'm, uh, I've been over Call of Duty for a while. I bought... Uh, what was the... Infinite Warfare? No, not Infinite Warfare. Advanced Warfare? Advanced Warfare. Uh, barely played it. I only bought it because it was on sale, and I had family who were telling me, like, Get it, so let's play together. And then we didn't play together. <laughs> so I didn't play it. Yeah, that was uh, the best. So I haven't cared about Call of Duty in a long time. No, you I'm know, not. The, uh, which one was it? Um, just um, Modern Warfare. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Yeah. That's probably one of the few games in my life where I played like a year straight. Nice. Every day after work, I just bang out. Three or four hours nice. <laughs> online, right? Every damn day. No, I mean like the last mod. I mean last call that I really played was Modern Warfare Two. Um, didn't like it. Didn't care for it. You like Modern Warfare Two? I was after after um, Modern Warfare. Yeah. I was more of um, what's the other team that makes those games? Um, Treyarch. Treyarch. Got I used World at War and I liked World at War even though that's like. Not the popular opinion. I liked uh, what were the other ones? Black Ops. Black Ops. Blops. I like Blops. Black Ops. Even though I didn't get the latest one, but I did like one and two. Oh, uh, never really. No, not a fan. No. So opposites. Yeah, I guess. You were an Infinity Ward guy. I was a Treyarch guy. Not necessarily. Like I said, as Modern Warfare Two was the last one. I didn't play Modern Warfare Three. I played that one too, barely. I didn't play. Did Infinity Ward make uh, Ghost? Uh, what was oh, it? Ghost. Uh, I don't remember. Ghosts. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it was Ghost. I think. Yeah. And didn't play that one. No. Didn't play Advanced Warfare. I didn't play that one either. So I have, like I said, since 2009, I haven't really played or purchased them a uh, Call of Duty game. But this one looks it looks to be different. Like a lot of people can, you know, people have been complaining. I've been one of them. It's the same thing every year. Same yeah. kind of game every year. It's mad. Right, exactly. It's the, I said the same thing. It's the Madden of shooters. So it's game every year, 
it's the same premise. This one actually looks different, and the guys who are developing it look different. They don't look like your typical shooter developers. So I'm gonna look, gonna look, you know, gonna look at it with a new set of eyes. Like I said, hopefully it'll be good. Like I, I love science fiction. I love military science fiction, and I love a space opera. So it's all those rolled into one. Why not? I'll give it a shot. I mean, I could be wrong. But at the very least, it does. the Legacy Edition comes with uh, Modern Warfare Remastered, so I'll have that to play. That's the only reason why I kind of give a shit. If nothing to play. Yeah, well, there you go. I anyway. mean, obviously, that's the sales pitch. So Yeah, that's, that's why a lot of people are pissed that you can only get it with the Special Edition. Right. Like, I'd buy just the, the remaster straight up. Yeah. I'm sure they'll, they'll eventually... Probably, yeah. Like, a month after release, I'm sure, I'm sure they'll be like... They'll probably wait oh, like a new year, year for like maybe. $30 or $40. Yeah, hopefully. Which I would gladly play for. But I'm I'm going to get Titanfall after I get Infinite Warfare, only, only because, you know, I'm not a baller like that. So <laughs> I can only afford uh, so many games at a, at a time. So I'm more looking forward to Infinite Warfare than I am Titanfall. So well, we're out of time. Uh, I got to get going. All right, so do I. So it's so been fun. This was interesting. I hope it comes out all right. Yeah, I hope we I get hope a lot that, of views. A lot hope of that back ro- back round noise isn't too annoying. Uh, maybe we can figure out a way to add music to the background. Yeah, eliminate the noise. Yeah, something like that. All right, all right. Uh, thanks for thanks for doing this with me, man. Anytime, buddy. Maybe we'll do it next week too. Hopefully. All right, take care. <laughs>